Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Book. Back, we are back, we are good to be back, sorry about that. I got a good one for you today. Going to get into one of my favorite up, up and coming prospects, Hamza Shiraz, uh, taking on Tyler Denny, which is, should be a relatively easy fight for Hamza Shiraz. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, we've hit the lock of the week. Join the Patreon. Uh, in the Patreon, you get the lock of the week. The lock of the week has hit seven weeks in a row. And two of the weeks have given you two locks. So I've hit nine in a row. I haven't missed in over two months or about two months. Uh, we got another great one for you that will be released either today or tomorrow. You'll get the lock of the week for this week. As we got a lot of good information, a lot of good stuff to bet on. Uh, guys, uh, I'm losing my losing my brain here. All right. Um, I'm losing my brain. I can't even think anymore. All right. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. You get all the, uh, you get the lock of the week. You get the updated props. All the props that drop uh, before I release the video, come over to Patreon. Just follow the month. We'll show you how to make money on the props as well. You get ask the bookie anything. You can request a video. You get all the good stuff. Just five dollars a month. Let's and also subscribe to the channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Like I said, Hamza Shiraz is one of my favorite prospects. He, he stays defensively responsible. He fights tall. He dictates distance really, really well. Great power, throws in good combination, stays behind a high guard. He will show up at times, and you can start to really outwork him, and he doesn't count him much. He waits for you to stop, which is something I've noticed that he needs to work on. Um, he blocks shots well, though, but like I said, he shows up. Nice shotgun jab, really, really, really good jab. Uh, this is his best punch, and he's got a barrage of good punches. He's a really good offensive fighter, and this this is the best thing he's got. Like This is the best item in the fridge, his, his shotgun jab. It, it, it acts like a power punch. It's straight. It's long. You can't get on the inside of it. It's really, really good. It's impossible to hit him. Um, it, I mean, it, it's with the jab. It's impossible to hit him with the jab. At, at one point, Amo Williams was literally one out of 100 with his jab. He threw out 100 jabs. He hit him once, according to Kami Bond. You know, those numbers aren't perfect, but you know, it's indicative of, of what was going on in that fight. His jab is crazy sharp and hard and long and accurate, and he doesn't get hit that cleanly. Good fighters, great fighters, I should say, don't get hit a lot. He doesn't get hit a lot. He doesn't get hit cleanly. Jab is beautiful. Great power on the end of his shots. Good volume. Good counter puncher. Good placement. Like I said, the one thing you're going to do is if you can put pressure on him, you can get him to shell up. But he blocks the shots pretty well on the inside. Real power. On everything, including the jab, pinpoint accurate power shots, creates distance, maintains the distance, fights exactly how you would want a tall fighter to fight. Good volume, good, great jab, good defensively, maintains the distance, powers at the end of his shots. He, he, he he's clean, he's really clean with a great power, with great power and a great jab. I like him a lot. I, I think this is a, a top notch prospect. Tyler Denny is what he is. He, he's got a couple wins, um, so he he. he he put some things together. He's got a win over Signani, the Italian guy. Um, what was he up? And Felix Cash. Um, he's got a technical decision on Felix Cash that was stopped in the fifth round after a nasty headbutt. Slick, light hitting guy, southpaw. Nice, quick jab, pops it out there. Good movement. He can make you miss from, from the mid range and the long range. He can make you miss there. Um, he starts fast. This is going to be a quick start to the fight. Good speed, good combinations, good volume. He keeps, he keeps punching. He comes in a lot too. He comes in a lot more. He's not exactly what you think. He's not exactly a back foot guy. He's not exactly a slickster or, or anything like that. He will come in and he likes to exchange, which is interesting. Um, he's really sloppy with the straight left and, and, and he's a south one and he's really sloppy with the straight left. And I, I think he's going to eat some big right hand in this fight from, from Hamza. Uh, he comes straight in a lot more than you expect, a, a little bit more aggressive, uh, but he doesn't have any power. He, he just, he, he doesn't hit. And he's not going to – good 
slip rate movement on the inside uh, from the mid range, making miss a little bit, but he gets sloppy. When he opens up, he gets sloppy, and he's easy to counter. He's willing to trade. He'll stand in with you more than you expect, like I said. Um, he doesn't have a ton of skills, right? Like he's not super slick. He's not super skilled. He's just kind of fast and and kind of twitchy reflexes. And he'll come in or he'll fight backwards. And he's not really great at either, uh, but he can do both a little bit. It's like the switch hitter in baseball. That's not really good as a right-handed hitter or a left-handed hitter, but he can switch. You know, it's just, you know, it's not. He, he, this is, I, I step back from Emma Williams to be a relatively easy fight for Hamza. I definitely think Hamza gets him out. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we got here. We don't have the stoppage prop. I don't want to touch this prop, although I do like that. Um, I, I think this is probably your best bet. I'm going to lay up this for now. We may come back. This one of the props drop. Come back over. I like him by stoppage. I want to take a look at it by stoppage. Uh, but right here, Hamza Shiraz. Money line. Uh, minus 700. 100 all bet's going to make you 1428. This is a, not a bad bet. This is an interesting bet, too. You guys might want to add this, too. Uh, but I'm going to wait on this to see. I, I, I just want to take him by stoppage. I, I, although I, I, I like this a lot, a lot. I like this a lot. You know, you guys might want to put up a small bet on that too. Half a bet on that. Make you 50 bucks. $150 bet makes you $65 when he knocks him out in under six and a half. Six and a half is long. I don't know. Six and a half is long. Hamza Shiraz. Uh, this is a great bet to add to your parlay. Minus 700 help bring your odds down. I will find a good bet to build a, a, a prop around, and this will help bring it down to get us closer to even or plus money. Uh, but Shiraz on the money line is, is a safe bet. Shiraz by stop, as I think, is a safe bet. It's under six and a half, I like a lot. I do like that a lot. But uh, standalone bet, Shiraz not making a ton of money, making about $15 per hundred. Or... What I would like is add them to your pot light. Help bring your odds down a bit. Uh, this is easy money. This is I, I'd say this is close to a guarantee. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Uh, from It's September 17th from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.